Hey, you got a few minutes? You know, Fiwa Langedi calls this arrogance versus confidence. And so the passage first goes, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? From Psalm 27, verse 1. You know, the singer Beyonce has a song with the lyrics, uh, I think which I'm taking out of context, and it says, some call it arrogant, I call it confident. You know, it being one of my favorite theme songs, I, of, I often uh, reflect on this particular phrase. That's what the author says. There's a fine line between the two. You know, arrogance convinces us we can pull our own selves up by our own bootstraps. Confidence reminds us of our interconnectedness and interdependence. Arrogance foolishly focuses on doing things right, leaning into unjust laws for the sake of order. Confidence wisely centers doing the right things, disrupting legal atrocities for the sake of the gospel. Arrogance assumes our iteration of faith is the only valid one. But confidence really, really, really deepens our faith as it engages others. Arrogance disregards deadlines and steeps in the pursuit of perfection for the fear of how others might or might not accept us or our work. Whereas confidence, you know, it operates openly and it risks vulnerability to fulfill the potentially unpopular calls placed in and on our lives. To continue, arrogance converts our fears into venomous hate. Whereas confidence, confidence, it transforms our fears into audacious courage. You know, this psalmist has plenty and plenty, and I call it choke, reasons to tap into an arrogant stance of vengeance and self-advancement, a trust so deep in God as to take on fear courageously. And in this trust, the psalmist exemplifies a posture we would do well to imitate, seeking God's face, seeking connection, and risking vulnerability. So, as we continue to make our way towards the fear-inducing cross, perhaps we can do so with holy confidence instead of self-righteous arrogance. We need not, and I say we need not, perpetuate the very fears and oppression we face by trying to do things on our own. Instead, let us find the strength and the courage that we need to overcome our challenges in God. Indeed, let's do it with one another. So our prayer today says, convert our arrogance into confidence, O Lord. Transform our fears into courage, O Lord. And empower us to know and to be and to make the difference. Amen.